In this tutorial, we are going to cover inserting images in Google Sheets. Google Sheets allows you to insert images in all sorts of ways. So let's get started. First, to simply insert an image in Google Sheets, we can click on the Insert button and go down to Image, and it comes up with two options, Image in Cell and Image Over Cell. Anytime you add an image, it will be referenced to the cell that you've selected. Or if you've got a range you've selected, it will reference the top left hand cell in that range. So right now we have selected A1 and we want to go to image and we'll say image in cell. Pop up window will appear and you've got a whole heap of options here. First, we've got uh, an upload option or we can get it from our camera by a URL, Photos, Google Drive, or Google Image Search. So let's start with the upload option. So you can click on Browse to open up a menu, or you can just go and select from here and click and drag in. Let's go with our Goatington in Repose and pop that in. And you can see underneath it's gone blue, so you know it's going to upload. And it takes a little while to get in, might be a little bit bigger file. And we put it inside the cell and you can see it fits in there. So let's open that up a bit and you can see as it expands, it will fit into the cell only. So let's pop that open and it's always good to get this fella a nice big image because as you can see, it's quite an attractive goat. All right, so we've got that one. Let's uh, go down to cell four and scroll down a bit and let's try another insert. So we'll go insert, image, image over cells this time. This time round, we will go by our Google Drive and I should have a recent one up and we'll use my logo here and I'll click him and a little insert button down the bottom and insert. Now this time we selected over the image. So now it's not inside the cell, it's resting over, but it will reference that cell. And we can click here, and if we want to expand it, we can click expand or reduce. And you can also notice there's these little ellipses here as well. So if I click on them, you can see that I can replace the image, I can delete the image, I can assign a Google script, so kind of make it into a button, um, reset the size or put in some alt text. So let's make my alt text Yagi San at today. The the coding the coding goat. There we go. Cool. Okay, let's go down to the row 17. This time now we'll use a link. So I've just got one from uh, Wikipedia here. I'll copy that. And we'll go back to our 17, we'll go insert, image, image over cell this time. And go by URL, and I can paste that in, control V. It'll come up with a sample, and we can hit insert. And there it is. Okay. So there's the inserted image, all good to go. Okay, so let's go down to a, a final example. Uh, down on row 33. Now you might have, uh, you might have accidentally noticed that you can go to anywhere and do a screen print. I'm on a Windows system, so I'm going to hit Shift, Windows and S to do a screen print and select a range like this. And then hit Control V and I'll paste in and then I can resize it until my heart's content. Like this, scroll up a bit. There we go, a bit more. Good. Okay. So this is all well and good for a very temporary image, but when these are copied and pasted into a Google Sheet, I have noticed that they only have a short shelf life before they are removed. I'd imagine that it is uh, pasted in on a temporary link and then over a period of time they're deleted. Uh, so this is probably not the most re recommended approach of inserting images in if you want it to be there permanently. But if you want it up there just for a quick example or something like that, I'm sure that that's pretty harmless. Okay, that's it for inserting images in Google Sheets. I'll catch you in the next tutorial.